Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused this crash. And the one thing that they're looking at is, is the intersection where it happened. The bus was en route from Humboldt to Nipawin, traveling north on Highway 35. That's north of Tisdale. The speed limit there is 100 kilometers an hour. The bus approached the Highway 335 intersection where the truck was approaching from the east. The truck had a stop sign. The bus didn't. Visibility may have been an issue. A stand of trees partially obscured sight lines from the east and south. The force of the collision sent both vehicles into the ditch on the northwest corner. Olivia Stefanovic is looking at why this intersection may be particularly dangerous. The ferocity of the crash is still hard to comprehend. Today, a stark contrast. The intersection where the collision happened opened for the first time since the tragedy. But there are still telltale signs of what happened here. Among the debris, a cracked DVD of the hockey movie Slapshot. The Humboldt Broncos would have passed by these crosses just before impact. A family of six was killed in a collision with a grain truck in the same intersection two decades ago. The, the accident that happened 20 years ago, it was a pickup coming from the, the west. It failed to stop at the stop sign. I, I really feel a rumble strip would be a good thing because when you hit them, like it, it kind of jars you right away. While it's too early to say if a failed stop played a role in Friday's crash. The locals know this is a deceptively dangerous intersection. You, 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 you think you've got lots of time to stop and then all of a sudden it's a surprise. Sight lines have been a concern at this intersection. A gas station that once stood in this exact spot was torn down to improve them. The RCMP are working with the collision reconstruction team to determine what happened. In the meantime, even its officers seem particularly affected by what happened here. Olivia Stefanovich, CBC News, south of Nipawin, Saskatchewan. That rumble strip he mentions a series of small speed bumps. We saw one of those as we were driving from Saskatoon to Humboldt and it warned us that a stop sign was ahead. And one more note on the crash investigation. The driver of the truck that collided with the team bus was questioned by police but was released and he's now getting counselling.